Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Carmsden Farm on this lovely new morning. We have got, um, well, got the stone pickings done that I needed to do overnight on fields 9 and field 20. So that's all good. Done the mulching as well of the fields that needed mulching. So we're in a position whereby I'm ready to oilseed radish field 6 today I've also got a contract to cultivate field 1 here um, which is a little bit unusual that we've got a contract but yeah cultivating contract brings in a bit of money uh, will be quite nice to do uh, I can set a helper up doing that and yeah pretty much I think it's good. Need to get some stuff obviously sold today. Um, let's have a look. December, December, December. Uh, December, December. Oh, actually, we don't need to sell anything. It's all November. Um, December for silage. There was me thinking I had selling to do today, and I don't. I'm currently shifting all the digestate, though, from the BGA to the uh, digestate store. But what we're going to do is, after I put this stone picker back, it's half full at the minute with stones. I'm going to wait until it's full full before I take it and obviously empty it. Um, we're going to go get a new planter today. Ready to do the. Um... Oil seed radish. So we're going to head to the store. I've, I said in the last video I was going to sell that cedar. Uh, I've decided I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Why not? We've got a lot of fields, so having two cedars and a, a planter is no real big thing. Gives us a bit more uh, scope, but before I take this guy off to the store, that dude was selling silage. I'm gonna wait, leave him for another month. Um, now this guy should have he doesn't. Okay. Well, that's a little disappointing. I thought he had a uh, auto dry course play course. Anyway, we'll set that. We always have problems with this field because obviously it's not the most accurate. It takes a long while to generate the uh, auto drive course as well for it. Because um, <laughs> there's a lot to program. That looks kind of okay though. Right. Let's head into the field. So this is contract. This is contract work, ladies and gents. And, uh, we're just going to let this guy do what he does. First waypoint, off you, off you go, pal. You notice I put the CB radio helper mod back in. 
We've got CB radio chatter now when we have workers hired. Which will be kind of cool. Right, let's head down to the store. Pick up our new tool. Whoa. <laughs> Now we're not going to go massive, massive on the planter. 12 meters is still plenty good enough for me. But yeah, we've got the stones picked off of field nine. So field nine will be ready for uh, crop to be put on it next year. Well, howdy, partner. Okay. Just didn't want to talk. Very unsociable, like most Brits. <laughs> we don't like to do a lot of talking. Right, I want that one. That's a lot of money. And that's going to be it. Not a lot to purchase. We want that for 240. I'm not going to put fertilizer on it, obviously. As we do our own spraying. Right, we need some seed, of course. Uh, don't know how much it holds, but I'm going to have a gamble at 6,000 litres, ladies and gents. Six thousand liters would have been a good guess, as it looks to be six thousand liters. Anybody spot the mistake? Anyone spot the very obvious mistake that I've just made? Can anybody see what, what's the problem with this machine? Anybody? Anybody see what the problem is with this machine? If you're all saying it doesn't plant oil seed radish, you would be correct. I've just bought, spent 240 grand on a machine that doesn't do what I want it to do. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh man. Hello. It's a bit fire again, is it? Or was that the Lancaster that just come over in real life? One of the two, you could tell from the Merlin engines. 
sounded like only one though, so I'm guessing it's a spit that come over and not blank. Well, ladies and gents, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? We bought a machine that we can't use until next year. We bought a machine that we can't use until next year. Um, well, uh, there was me. Hoping to demonstrate to you all what a wonderful, lovely piece of machinery that was, or is, and instead <laughs> I have to go back to using the old pe the old one. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Unfortunately, then, ladies and gents. We're going to just be putting oil seed radish down with the old cedar. Oh, how I hate. Didn't think to check what I thought that I thought the case modding. I thought the case planter would have been able to have done everything. That's on me, ladies and gents. I should have really checked, paid more attention. I'm so used to, again, in FS19, all the case, all the custom modding planters, cedars, etc. were all capable of doing everything. I just, just took it for granted that it was going to be a cedar planter combo capable of planting every crop in the game and it's not and it's not it's only a planter so I can only do planter crops well we will get used to that we will it'll come in handy for doing corn sunflowers I think it does soybeans as well doesn't it we'll probably use it for some soybean planting next year but yeah just mm, no frustration the frustration is real I hate it when I make that mistake ladies and gents hate it I also hate that I've learnt today I've seen a um, preview of the Kubota DLC that comes out next Tuesday as I'm recording this video on the 28th I've seen a preview of the DLC and all the vehicles and stuff in the game I've actually seen it and I've also seen an advanced preview of the patch notes for the uh, patch 1.6 which comes out as well on Tuesday before the DLC and I'm incredibly incredibly disappointed to say the contract bug with the disappearing contract has not been fixed well according to the patch notes it's not been fixed um, there's nothing in the patch notes to say that giants have done anything to address the issue with the contracts on the contract screen disappearing the second they appear um, a few seconds after they appear and harvesting contracts just vanishing before your eyes and things like that They've, there's nothing in the patch notes to say this has been they've done anything with this so um yeah where unfortunately contract system still apparently is going to be broken after the update next week and um i don't know if they're ever going to fix it For those of us that have submitted bug reports i would suggest first thing on tuesday after the update has dropped um is to go ahead and submit it again submit your bug reports again because it's only by bombarding giants that we're actually going to get any kind of 
resolution to this problem. But yeah, it's definitely not fun not having harvest contracts. Um, there's only You can only do so much cultivating and ploughing before it starts to get a little bit repetitive. As I'm discovering, obviously, over on the Riverview save that we're doing currently. Um, it really does impact as well players who start in New Farmer or are doing, like, contractor-style playthroughs really hinders them massively almost to the point where it makes the game unplayable if you're new farmer or you're doing a contractor like deal so shame like i say i am disappointed you know I love the game, don't get me wrong, I love farm sim, I obviously wouldn't play it as many hours as I do and I wouldn't create as much content for the game as I do if I didn't love the game, I just sometimes question the level of support we get. Those of us that have paid out our hard-earned money to buy the game and we get broken things that aren't being resolved. And I, I, I do find that very hard to accept, you know. And I'm a Giants partner, you know. I'm a Giants partner. I like being a Giants partner. But at the same time, I do find Giants a little bit frustrating in some aspects. One, communication. They're very bad at it. They have all these community coordinators, community people. And they don't talk to anybody in the community. Um, I find that incredibly frustrating that they're not posting on their own forums and you know replying to people on their own site you know communication is a big big thing keeping people informed is a big big thing in my view in, in my, like I say, my past career, my past life, doing working in IT, um, working in software for for a company, providing technical support for software, for hardware, things like that, keeping people informed, even if you don't have a have a fix for an issue, or don't have an have a, a solution right away, just. Letting people know, letting customers know that A, you are looking into it and you are, and keeping them posted, keep just, just, yeah, we're still looking, in, you know, like we're still looking into it. We expect, you know, think we thank you for your feedback and just keeping people informed and, you know, up to date on what is happening is a big thing. You tend to get less angry customers if they're kept, you know, if you communicate with them, as long as you and you keep them informed you know along the way to re to resolving the problems you tend to get less it's when people don't hear anything you know when you don't communicate with people that is when you get the upset because they think they're being ignored that they're not being listened and that's when they start to get angry and start to shout and that's when they start to you know post lots of angry things on all their forums and message boards and discords and facebook's and twitters and stuff like that so i would love to see giants doing a better job of communicating with the community using its own forums using its own website you know let's not have people having to go hunting around here there and everywhere looking for answers you know giants giants have a pretty decent website and they've got a pretty good forum message board why aren't they using it more to communicate with the fan base with the players especially the players that are posting on those message boards and forums <laughs> reporting the problems why are they not replying to them If it's a lack of, you know, if it's a lack of resources, 
hire somebody. Hire somebody to do it. <laughs> to be your, you know, your forum community commenter, poster. To basically spend all day sat on the forums replying to people. And if you need to, hire someone who speaks German for the German side of it. For the German, obviously, players. And then hire an English person, speaking and writing person, who can manage and oversee the, the English speaking part of the forum and message boards. Giants aren't short of a few quid now. They can definitely hire people in those roles. And those roles do not require people to relocate. <laughs> You know, you could hire anybody anywhere in the world to do your forum community post. Don't need people based in your office in Germany to do that. So you could de you definitely wouldn't be short of applicants if it was a a post that was, you know, a work from home type deal wherever you are based in the world. Hell, even I'd consider applying for that type of role. If it was a, you know, proper paid job. I would sit on the forums all day, replying to people. Um, taking their questions and posing it to the uh, relevant people within Giants, the dev team, the personnel. You know, get, trying to get answers problems you notice this cedar's behaving a lot nicer today now it's on the back of this I don't know what maybe it's something to do with tracked any vehicles with tracks that it gets sort of hung up and snagged on but if you're pulling this with a seems like if you're pulling this with a normalish tractor, as long as you don't turn ridiculously tight, you don't get all the hang-ups and snag-ups with it, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. But yeah, this was a field that needs to be ploughed. Because obviously we did corn on it. So, planting the oilseed radish means we can, when we plough it, we are going to be putting fertiliser into the ground. So that helps with that element and aspect. worker take over and do a bit of a uh, bit of seeding for us we go check on the cultivator he's still running around obviously doing my digestate of which i'm guessing there is still a lot uh 50, 000, actually it's not that much there's only fifty thousand liters left which is what three more trips after this oh uh, yeah he'll be quite close to being full we are missing materials for making cake. What are we missing? We are missing butter. The dairy, ladies and gents, is struggling. Struggling. To keep up with our, um, our production, ladies and gents. Hmm. 
something we might also need to resolve a little bit. Um, well, let's go move all the... Uh, oh, look at this. The wall again, look. I've, I've sold... I've been selling my sheep. I've really thinned out my sheep pen, ladies and gents. The number of sheep in my sheep pen has been drastically reduced. We've got literally 45... 22 month old, nearly two year old sheeps. We've got 30 five month old sheeps. We've got 45 one year old sheeps. So we've got 120 sheeps in total. They should not be producing as much wool now. Our, our wool thing should not be getting that full. <laughs> But we'll go and empty it, move the wall pallets. I also painted round my um my pig pens, didn't I, recently? Through that too far. Back. Oh, so yeah, he's empty. He's got three more runs to do, which is ideal for the uh, digest amount of digestate that we've got. Um, Okay, this guy, this this guy's not done, not done what I wanted him to do at all. He's nearly at the end. I've got started him on nearest waypoint, so he's obviously doing the um finding all the bloody men finding which screen you need to be on. Yeah, he's doing that last headland at the minute. So he'll move in off of here. He'll do all of this bit round here. And then he'll come back out and he'll do the rest of that for that finish point there. Okay. So I think he's basically done that bit. He's then driven up here. He's done that one little bit there, and then somehow he's got himself stuck. Not very helpful. I was hoping he was going to be quite a way into this field. Ask. Guess what? Cat. What throws him out? Obviously, a little bit as well is the fact that not only is there the. Um, Um, you know, the wall, 
a lovely retaining wall. But there's also the actual map edge boundary thing. Actually, he's done, he's done quite a, a bit. Of, um... Breaker, Breaker. I'm all done. No, he hasn't. You're not done at all. Anyone with a copy, come in. He's fired up and ready to roll. Thought this was going to be an easy job. I could have just, you know, just just hire the worker, do the cultivating contract. All will be good. All will be okay. And instead, what do we find? He wants to stop doing what he's doing. He's doing a good job of the headland. <laughs> well, apart from the bit where he stopped, of course. That was me thinking that if I started on the up and down row, he would uh, he would manage to do what I wanted. Fortunately, that's not the case. He he failed miserably to do what I wanted. He literally did that one strip there. He did that one strip there, and then he stopped. And even on the headland, it wasn't perfect, was it? Hey, boss. All done with this job. Over. Appreciate the combat, good buddy. Oh, okay. It's a steering thing. He he's not able. He's getting caught up on the thing. Perhaps, perhaps he's not able to turn. He's getting. He's hitting the. Um, he's actually hitting the cultivator and course place. Going whoop! No, nope, that's not right. That's wrong. <laughs> he 
Yeah, he's turning radius. He's having issues, ladies and gents. Might have to look at getting rid of the fence and replacing it with a a big powerful normal wheel tractor then. Okay, looks like he's a little bit happier now. Just something for me to keep an eye on, isn't it? Really? Just keep me... me eyes on him. And focus again on the cedar man. He's still seeding. Obviously, I'll finish that little bit off as well. But yeah, we'll have the oilseed radish planted. Which is effectively all we need to do. Our other fields are three and four, five have nothing on them. Um, 21 has nothing on it. Um, we're all good to go, really. Um... The only other thing to think about is do I buy that land now? And spend 833,000 bucks on that big plot of land down near the BGA. Mm. We do. <laughs> and on that massive expenditure I'm going to say thank you for watching today's episode ladies and gents I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of the series where I'll be doing something with that bit of land we've just purchased we'll be getting it painted and uh, landscaped and terraformed so that it's going to be nice for me in the spring to just put down my great vines and me olive trees and let's start working on that Based on the fact as well that I have a massive lack of um, butter for my productions, I might also see if I can invest in a second dairy factory. Um, just for doing, just for doing butter. See if we can't get a bit more butter output. We've got plenty of milk available. We're not short of milk. But we could definitely do with some um, increased butter production. Because our cakes have stopped flowing. So ladies and gents, I will see you next time round. For now, from me, C. Waddy. Cheerio.